What's up everyone, this is MJ. In this video, I'm going to be showing a demonstration or you can basically just call this a tutorial on how to use Save Wizard for PS4 Max, um, adding cheats for, or just basically adding cheats in general, but I'm, I'll be using this game as a demonstration since a lot of people are asking me questions on how to actually uh, add cheats or which save slot they should use the cheats on, etc, etc. Um, so <clears throat> this is this save file here is the same exact one that I used in my last video, uh, just showing you know core in the uh, party as a guest. Um, it's it's fairly simple. Adding cheats in this game is uh, or adding cheats in the save wizard is very simple. It, it really doesn't take any extra thought on how to do this. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just demonstrate anyway just so I can clear some fogs just for people who might be interested in buying Save Wizard. Um, yes, the dreadful word, buying. Um, it's not free, sorry guys. But uh, at least you guys will understand how this works before actually going, you know, before dropping the big $60 on it and just not understanding how things are. All right, so before we get started, um, we will be going, uh, we will be switching from the PS4 to the PC, but for now we're just going to be on the P PS4 side of for a while, just to show what, what progress we need to be doing first. So what I'm going to do is, I've already saved my game, but I'm going to take you back to, to, uh, to the title screen. Okay, so the first important thing we need to look at are our saves. Now the reason why I'm going to have you guys looking at save slots is because it's a little different on Save Wizard. So what we need to make sure is that on here, on the actual in-game um, side of things here, our auto saves are counted from 1 to 2, alright? But on Save Wizard, it's going to be counted as 0 and 1. So our first auto save will be called zero. Second one will be one. And then the rest of your manual saves will start from two to so on. So we just need to keep in mind with that when we actually try to edit our saves or just trying to figure out what what were our saves in the actual you know, game itself. We don't want to confuse ourselves editing the wrong slot, you know, because that actually happened to me when I first tried this. But uh, just make sure when you're on the tool you want to count your auto save as zero. The first one is zero. That's your game save zero. Is auto auto save one. So it's basically just one number down from the actual save. All right. So your manual saves will always be game save two on Save Wizard Tool. All right. So that is so that is all cleared up. Now let's go ahead and transfer our PS4 save file to a USB. So we go over to settings, we go to application save data management, and the first thing we want to do, if you have any, um, if you have any saves on your USB, make sure you delete those first, just so we can, you know, be on the safe side of things here. Uh, but if you are, right, but if you have a clean USB that don't have any USB saves on it, then you're fine. Uh, and for this game in particular, you're gonna want to have a, a very fast or powerful type of USB drive because this save files on here are pretty are pretty large. I think Final Fantasy 15 is saved at like 600 megabytes. It's probably the biggest of them all in, in all PS4 games. So it's gonna be very slow. A very slow transfer process if you're using a standard USB stick. Um, you might want to use an external drive or something like that just for this game. So I'm gonna go to save data in uh, system storage. All right, so copy the USB storage or copy the USB yeah storage device, and then you just choose whatever save you want. Um, if, you know, for any game you wanna you know save edit. This is all your uh, all your saves on your storage on your PS4, and you just choose whatever save you want to edit. I'm gonna right now. I'm gonna choose Final Fantasy 15. Uh, 
out and choose this one. Don't choose the DLCs because they're not really supported in say Wizard. And honestly, I don't know why you're gonna want to cheat in those anyway because they don't they don't really have a lot of freedom. So <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna use the main save and we just copy and just click apply all. And yes. See how, see how faster it is using an external drive? It may be a lot slower on a regular USB stick. I've tried two different USB sticks and it would take about 30 to an hour just to transfer a save file over. So uh, keep in mind, uh, it's a pretty big save file, uh, 629 megabits. That is almost one gig. All right, so that is done. And once that is done, we can head over to our PC side. Okay, so we are now on the PC side. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> I'm going to transfer my PS4 data that was on my external drive over to my USB drive because Save Wizard only going to be compatible to USB sticks. It doesn't work on external drives, so that's another thing we have to look out for. But again, the only reason why I use the external drive is so that it can have a faster transfer uh, process. So I'm just going to uh, copy this over to my USB drive. PS4 save data and this here is just a bunch of numbers and letters that is your PSN ID okay um, and just paste this over or do we actually want to delete this one a newer version okay so it's on my USB stick now just minimize that for a sec and we're going to pull up save wizard okay now for it first timers if you act when you when you buy this and you open this for the first time it's going to ask you to uh, attach a PSN ID to your Save Wizard account, and uh, all you, all it does, all it requires is a save file, and it's just going to see uh, where your ID is, and you just you know attach it to your Save Wizard account. It's it's basically to ensure you're the you know you're the actual user um, when you're going to their servers and using their cheats or whatnot. That's all it is. It, it doesn't take too long to activate or whatnot. It just requires a save file for that to work. Okay. So as you can see, um, it has three saves on on here, which are basically on my USB stick. And make sure you actually pick the right uh, specific drive. And if, unless you have multiple USBs on your computer, you're going to have to specify which one it is. Um, but as you can see, I'm only having one. And it shows three uh, three games. Uh, we're going to be doing Final Fantasy 15, so you just double click that, and then you're going to. And as you can see on the uh, right side, it shows your profile slash PSN ID, which is there. And you just click, right click and quick mode. And it's going to take somewhat of a long time to get into their server, so I will basically fast forward this to speed up. So now that we got this quick mode all ready to go, I'm going to minimize these slots so it can be a lot easier for you to see what I'm dealing with. It's probably a good idea you guys do the same as well so you can, uh, won't be confused here. Now this will bring us back to my uh, early in the video where I explained about the save slots. Now I'm going to show I'm going to basically tell you which save slot is what, okay? Because I know you guys are going to be confused and like pick the wrong one or edit the wrong slot like I did. 
Alright, so what we got here is gameplay slot zero. Now this save slot is actually auto save one. Okay. In the actual game, this will count as auto save one, but on save wizard it's zero. So it's basically one number um, you know down. And your and then you have game slot one, which is save slot auto save slot two. So basically, your slot two on Save Wizard is your first manual save file. Okay, so always keep that in mind. Zero and one are auto saves. Auto save one, auto save two. So for me, it's gonna be my main save is gonna be on slot five, which is actually six in game. So. Here are the cheats that it has. The one that are in that the ones that are highlighted in purple are uh, third-party cheats. The ones that actually did it. they don't come with Save Wizard. The ones that are in black are the ones that pre that are pre uh, pre-installed it in with Save Wizard when you actually buy it. But the ones highlighted in purple are the added in cheats. So you can basically differentiate which ones are from Save Wizard or not from Save Wizard. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to explain you guys how to add in cheats. Now you can look in what this game has to offer when you actually buy this and whatnot. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go into full detail on what this has because you can basically look that up on your own on their, on their website. So I'm just going to basically teach you guys how to add in cheats. So, first of all, the question is, where do we get the cheats? Alright, so let's, let's find that out. Where do we get these cheats? We get them from this spreadsheet here. This Google Doc spreadsheet is the king daddy of all Final Fantasy XV codes. So you might want to bookmark this somewhere if you plan on doing a lot of editing. Because this thing here is going to give you all what you need to be satisfied with this game. Um, for I'm going to give you a small warning. Okay, the codes you, you should stay away from using uh, using these cheats are key items. If you're if you have not beaten the game yet, do not do not. I repeat, use all key items because it will prevent your progress okay do not use any key item cheats until you have beaten the game because it will screw up your, your progress and you'll be stuck um, you can always undo that kind of issue but just to be safe don't mess around with key items because I mean that's not that's not in this game that's in every single game in general that that allows you to um, use cheats don't mess around with key items if you have not beaten the game okay now everything else is perfectly fine, uh, but definitely do not mess with key items. All right, so I'm gonna teach you how to guys how to um, again copy and add in cheats into the Save Wizard tool. But before I even do that, you need to have an extension called Google Docs Offline. Uh, I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. It was something Google's or something. But I think this allows you to actually um, copy. Uh, stuff from the Google Doc spreadsheet at least it did for me because when I I couldn't copy anything off of this until I installed it so it may be different for you but when I when I tried this myself I couldn't even copy the cheat so I was like what was going on and then I figured out I had to have Google Docs offline extension in order to use it so if you want to uh, see if that is the reason why you can't do it as well then you may need to install this extension to your Chrome. And I think Firefox has it too. So if you're a Firefox user, uh, just look look for that as well. All right, so let's go back here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to Save Wizard Tool. Let me bring up my stuff. Okay, we're going to go back, highlight your save slot that you want to edit, the right click, and then add cheat. All right. It doesn't matter which slot you use, just make sure it's the one that you prefer to use cheats on. That's all I can tell you. You can use it on any slot you want, even auto save slots. Uh, but I highly recommend just using them on the save slot that 
do you prefer to use or you don't care to use? It just, it just really depends on your preference. Um, but here we go. So I'm gonna, well, I can't get. So this is basically what we get when we pull up the ad sheets, the description for the title, comments that you might want to like remind yourself of what the what the cheat does and then you got your little code section where you put the codes in so it's it's like using an action replay basically all right so we're going to go back here i'm just going to highlight the uh, title and right click copy and just paste it into the description that will tell us what the cheat code name is and then after that you just highlight the entire code column right click copy and then just paste it under our codes and that is it you just click OK and you're done I've already got this added in my uh, save wizard so I'm not gonna click OK or it'll give me an error saying I already have this cheat but that is how you do it guys that is literally how you add cheats in save wizard um, hopefully we don't have to do this because Spending $60 on a save editing tool should already come packed with a lot of codes. And uh, but yeah, hopefully the games that are that they do support already have enough cheats for us to be satisfied with. Final Fantasy 15 was a huge disappointment on this tool because it didn't really have the cheats that we really wanted. It just I guess they kind of went lazy on on the game. Um, because it had such a big massive uh, file size for the save data um, but yeah so but for the most part this is how you add sheets it's fairly simple it's just copy and paste um, but for newbies out there that's going to buy this or thinking about buying this you're gonna have a lot of copy and pasting to do because there's a lot of good sheets on here so um, yeah but in my case, we're going to look at the guest characters, because that is what I'm focusing on right now. Um, is this the guest character? Yes, it is. Okay. So I'm scrolling back up here. There we go. All right. So in this block here, these are the guest characters that can only be used in the party. So if you don't, if you see a character that's not listed here, then that means you cannot um, add her into the party or her codes, her value is not been found yet. And you can have a, some, somewhat of a detailed list of uh, characters on what happens. Um, I see uh, Gintiana here, but she is labeled as broken. So she she's not going to be available in the, uh, the cheats we have here. Also Titan is broken. Um, but everyone in that's in green can be in your party, okay? So that's what we're looking at. So for the time being, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna add Arden into my save slot um, for this demonstration. So with that being said, I have to make sure I remove core from my save from my save file. I'm not sure if this is uh, necessary, but I'm gonna do it because I like to be on the safe side. I don't want to have my save glitching out because I have two guest members in the same party. So before I do anything. Um, I'm just going to activate the clear guest slot. Now you need, you definitely need to add this cheat in if you don't have it already. Um, just to make sure you get rid of a guest slot when you want to have a new one. So I've already got mine added into the uh, cheat list, and it's right here. So you would just copy the title first, paste it, and then you copy the code value next, and then you paste it, and you click OK, and you're done. Okay, that is basically how you add in sheets it's fairly simple all right so with that being said I'm going to go ahead and clear my uh, guest slot and click apply and then it says the save on the selected USB drive is about to be overwritten once completed this cannot be undone do you wish to proceed click yes now it will take some time for uh, this to be uh, done so it's gonna so you're gonna have to have a little patience for it for it to be completed okay so it is done oh we open it up with quick mode again and let's go ahead and minimize all of this stuff go back to our save slot and this time we're going to add in Arden which I already have here in my cheat cheat list
file, you might want to read what he actually does in the game. This could be very important um, to know so you don't like feel like the game crashed or the game is messed up or whatever. Alright, so Arden is level 10, equipable with any sword, both primary and secondary, interchangeable, no technique, no card model, no chokeable model, does not fight but will run at the enemy, can only use classic regalia, pictures comes out weird sometimes, will steal the camera, does a lot of selfies. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Not much dialogue. Some interesting interactions. Sometimes if you rest at certain places, you will stop following. To undo this, just travel to somewhere. Changing the outfit will make Arden leave the party. Okay, that I probably will definitely take note on that. For this, you have to travel with Umbra to somewhere else, somewhere else to fix it. So you have to travel uh, to Umbra to fix that problem if he does leave the party. So right now I'm going to add an Arden into the save slot after I had removed Core. Okay, so in my in the next gameplay, uh, <laughs> you should see Arden instead of Core. I hope. All right, so we're gonna click yes. Okay, so the cheats are successfully applied. Click OK. So now we can go ahead and commence the uh, copying over to the US to the external drive and transferring it to the PS4. Okay, so we're back on the PS4. I'm gonna go back to settings, and then we're gonna scroll down. Application save data management. And this time we're going to go to save data on USB storage device first. Copy the system storage, and there's your save file. We're going to copy, apply to all, and then yes. Alright, so we're done with that. Now we can get into the game and see if the magic works. Alright, so we got the load game screen. And this is the slot that I edited. It was slot, it was game save slot 5 on save wizard but it's 6 in game so here is this and once it loads I should have Arden in my party and voila Arden is in my freaking party right, this is the first time I've had him like, as a guest party so this is pretty wild yeah. I can't believe this bastard is in my party now. What the flying fuck? That's pretty sick. I mean, look at this guy. What the hell? <laughs> Isn't this cool? Oh my goodness! But uh, he he can't attack, uh, so he's he's pretty much useless to the to the team. Um, and he has a few glitches where you rest or if you change outfit. So you have to keep in mind: do not change your outfit um, when he's in your party, or he will leave the party. But you could probably undo it just by reloading the save file. I think you could do that too. But uh, just try not to change your outfit because he could leave. Now I'm not sure if it's just Noctis or it could be any, anyone else changing their outfits but uh, 
But if he does leave, you could probably just load, reload your save file. Let's get, let's go fight something. I mean, I know he's not gonna do anything, but still. Oh yes, that giant scorpion. Freaking Ari, man. Why are you in my party, bro? Last thing I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. You killed my wife. My soon-to-be wife. So yeah, he just he just stands around. But he can also get he can get hit though. <laughs> he just stands around, does nothing. Yeah, he doesn't have oh, to take I am yet, starving. So. <laughs> yeah, so he's pretty useless, but I mean, it's still cool to have him in the guest. Just for, uh, just for fun. It's like you're having fun. Sticky and gross. Woohoo! Bath time! Alright, so let's see what happens if we camp. Oh, well, there's core picture. I'm good to go. Just about awake. a boyfriend she is surrounded by guys but who knows why you fancy her no <laughs> my interest is purely hypothetical 